welcome. So today we are going to be talking about an early Renaissance master, Donatello, and uh, known for his sculptural work in the early Renaissance. Uh, there was um, this particular piece we're going to talk about, St. Mark. He was commissioned by the Linen and Drapery Guild to, to create a statue for the outside of the Or Saint Michel. So the Florence government told all of the, the guilds then that they wanted um, them to fill the niches of the outside of the building. So there's these recesses in the wall, um, usually semicircular, that um, that would be filled with statues. So they, they asked all of the guilds then to to commission works for their patron saints uh, to be to be filled there and. They, the Linen and Drapery Guild asked Donatello to do theirs, and so, of course, uh, he paid special attention to the drapery on St. Mark, um, and uh, we see St. Mark in, I think, here, we see St. Mark in uh, a classic contrapposto pose, so one leg bearing all of the weight. Uh, it's a very um, natural way of standing, so not these, these stiff and, um, you know, serious poses uh, of, you know, like late Gothic and Byzantine art, where um, artists are, you know, the, there's this resurgence in uh, ancient Greek and, and Roman sculpture and art and, and Artists are being influenced in the early Renaissance by this, and we can really see that in the with the return of the the classic old uh, contrapposto pose, and and also with uh, the more personalized faces and features. So bringing some personality back into the sculpture here, with um, you can see all the different niches of the of the building here. They're, they're all very very different and. Um, it's a, a new way of, uh, not new, re, but a new re rediscover and, and, and incorporate into their art. Um, so with this contrapposto pose as well, it um, depicting motion in a stagnant setting. We get, we get a little bit of movement there. Um, and also the, with the drapery, um, it really defines the body of, of Mark. Uh, there's some really great really like it really pulls on his knee that's pushing forward and um, really just shapes that pretty really beautifully so it's um, yeah the ones outside of, of or, or St. Michelle now are unfortunately they're plaster casts but you can see see them um, on display uh, inside but, but yeah the ones outside are are the plaster cast, but really, really beautiful, um, really beautiful early work by by Donatello. That we're taking a look at it. It's always fun to see where sculpture started in the early Renaissance and where it will wind up in in the later. Stay tuned.